Keith, you said you came in with your license when it comes to when it comes to Chuck D. I can't put Chuck D. When it comes to Chuck D. and Public Enemy as a whole, right? Right. To me, it was it was a period time, right? So they were so relevant, and I was a huge Public Enemy fan. But they were so relevant at the time because of what I was going, what was what we was going through in in my community. You know, just just the fact that you know what they spoke of, like. I started becoming conscious uh, when I was like 15, 16. So the stuff they was talking about start to resonate with me. And when it came time for me to actually go into the service, I, I really considered not going into the service because these niggas were talking about the revolution was going to happen in 96. And I was like, shit, I might be in, I'm going to be in at that time. I can't be in there. You know, <laughs> why, why the revolution. I, I mean, I, I was really thinking, I mean, I literally almost was like, I don't know. Because because it was like a movement at that time, you know what I mean. It was it was it was part of that, and and when you think about it, the, the type of music that was out at that time, because it, it was still bubblegum shit that was going on uh, around that time. But then you had some, but then you had people like uh, Arrested Development that was coming out around the same time too. You know, you had you you, you still had a lot of other music and good music and bubblegum shit at the same time. So. But, but that was the beauty of music back then. We had all these people that even came out at the same time. They had different styles. They sounded different. So you had options. So like like you say, uh, Game Star sounded like this. Um, some you know somebody else sounded like that. We had options as music as compared to today, where most of these niggas sound the same. And, right. And, they, and, they, and they're not. You know, it, it's just. You know, like I was in a club last night and. It was a couple cats that I heard that was on some different stuff, and then after that, everybody started sounding the same. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, yo, oh. as, far as, as far as Chuck D goes, to me, um, real talk, G, he should be your favorite rapper of all time instead of Kanye. If you want to talk about positivity, but I feel right. like Chuck D, um, he's in a different, he's in a different category. Like I, I wouldn't because of what he was and because of what Public Enemy spoke about. You know what I'm saying, like. You know, it, it was almost like uh, the Black Panther Party on wax. You know what I'm saying? Right, when right. you heard Public Enemy. Fear, fear, fear it was Black just like, like you know, the album came out today. Chuck D is not in my top ten. Especially, they, they, should re- they should re-release They should re-release that shit today. You know what I'm right, saying? Fear it was Black Panther. They should come out. That's what, that's what they have fear of. Yeah. Like my mom, I'm they telling do. you, dog, my, mom, my, mom don't, my mom do not like hip-hop. At all, like she she hated rap, but she loved public. Energy. She heard "Fight the Power" one day, and she was like, "Oh my goodness!" Mm, mm. And then went 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 went. He was like, "Motherfucking man, John Wayne." She, my mom, don't cuss. I probably heard her cuss like five times in my life. When she heard "Motherfucking man, John Wayne," she was like, "That's why. Right, that's why. Right, that's what I'm talking about." I was like, "Oh man," you know what I mean? Like Public Enemy was so iconic. Like to me, they just get they they get set off to the side, and I, and I don't think it's fair to Chuck D to include them. You know, in this because then we're gonna bring lyrics into play. But I mean, Chuck D really was a lyricist, man. It's just about what he chose to talk about. Yeah, yeah. right. I, and like, I, I like, even, like I Black <clears throat> Like out of all the hip hop icons that I look up to, I, I'm biased to Chuck D because me and Keith actually got to meet Chuck D. So it was like I, I can't. I, he's in a different category for me. I don't even want to put him in there. But just for the sake of the argument, we I can't put him in top ten because. I don't consider Public Enemy a single per. I don't consider Chuck D a rapper by himself. Public Enemy was the group, so it's like, yeah, and, that's why, and that's why I kind of said that too, because and, and it wasn't like he was waiting on like it wasn't so much about plays, but Chuck, it, it wasn't Chuck D in itself. It was like Public Enemy as you know, it, as an as, entity. It was like one entity. All right, as an entity. All right, next person, uh, Red Man. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I want to say this. Chuck D really wasn't a rapper. Chuck D was a social activist who just so happened to know how to rap. Ah, good point, though. Exactly. Even if you listen if you listen to his lyrics, they're not even on rhythm. Like, sometimes the shit don't rhyme. It ain't like a flow. It's just him talking in the beat. Yeah. Right. Yeah, more like a poet, like a black poet style. Something in the made him sound good. <laughs> <laughs> right. And Hank Shockley. Right. Red man. And Hank. You see, you said Red man. Red man. Oh hell no. That's a sleep on. That's what I'm. Red man's probably one of my favorite rappers, but he's not I'm in biased. I'm biased. 
I'm biased to Red Man, but I, I can't I can't put him top ten, man. That hurt. I, I almost wish yeah. you didn't bring his name up because I hate to have to say no. <laughs> yeah, I, much, yeah, much as I much as I much as lyrically lyrically as he is, he still ain't in my top ten. Right. Nah. Shit. When I was, we know we know he got bars. Say that last sentence. Hello. Yeah. Say that last sentence. I said no. I said in '92, I was Red Man. So shit. <laughs> <laughs> you and he, that was when you wouldn't even comb your hair and shit, right? Red Man, where's the Red Man? Mm, mm, mm. That nigga, that nigga didn't comb his hair. His your house, your apartment looked like his in uh in cribs, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Everything. He, he he taught us how to roll the blunt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Next one. Uh, Eminem. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. That was cricket yeah. for a minute. <laughs> no, nah, yeah. I was doing something else. But Eminem is probably in my. Eminem is in my top five. Yeah. But go ahead. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I got. I, I, I got to put him in there, man. Yeah, and, 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 and he's not in my top five. For, for racial reasons, I refuse to put a white guy in the top five of hip hop. <laughs> but, but the question was top uh, ten, so he's in the I'm top a, ten. I got, I got, yeah, I gotta give respect. He's in the, the question was top ten, so he's um, in the top ten. The room, room yeah, seems to agree to. I give him top ten. I say arguably top five, but I give him top ten. But even, even him does have a big asterisk beside his name because I don't think if Eminem wasn't presented by Dr. Dre. He would have had the career that he had. Mm. It don't matter. Being presented uh, like exactly. That's why there's it a lot of other right rappers said, that we don't fuck with. Hold on, G. Hold on, G. Because you said earlier, if Biggie, if Biggie hadn't been with Puff and he was on loud, then it wouldn't be like it is now. All right, but it just so happens that's the way it turned out. So what? It is what it is. You know, mm. we, I know. We, we I can also make the same argument. Hey, that's just like saying Biggie could be who he is. We can also make the same argument. We can also make the same argument if Dr. Dre never had Eminem, he wouldn't have, um he would he wouldn't have sold Beast for a billion dollars. Yeah, but it happened. You know what I'm That's, saying? I'm not, I'm not saying what happened with Beast happened. I'm just saying it only happened because of Puff Daddy's influence in the hip hop community. That's all I'm saying. Just like Eminem. I'm just Eminem you, can't have, you can't have it both ways, dog. It, 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 it is what it I is, though. It, it is it what happened. it is. If Michael if Michael Jordan if Michael Jordan didn't get cut. On varsity, would he would, would he turn out to be the uh, the greatest player of all time? We don't know that. You we don't, don't know that. We don't know the answer to that question because it didn't happen. All <laughs> know is he turned out to be the greatest player of all time. We do exactly. know that. Exactly, and we know that. Right. And we know that so Dr. Dre found know. Eminem, and he turned he turned out to be a top ten rapper of all time. That's it. That's all we know. All right. <laughs> all just, I just like that. Dre gave him his gateway. He had a gateway to the black community. What Dr. Dre was okay. in the music video with that? No, 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 no. He grew up with some of them cats from D12. Him and Proof knew each other from childhood. What you mean, dog? Right, right. That was his environment. That was his environment. He was a product of his environment. Exactly. He know them niggas, man. He used to get he used to get his ass whooped when he was a kid, you know. And then he ended up, you know, knowing them like later on, you know, as close like the high school. Right. He just recruits some niggas just because, man. Like. Exactly, like, I'm, come on, man. He used to rap with the outsiders. He, he used to rap with the outsiders with. From, from Brick City. I'm talking about presented as an artist. When he was presented as an artist, it was Dr. Dre presents Slim Shady. So you, as okay. a hip-hop fan, and a person who was a well, fan of hip-hop culture, thing about 50 Cent, though. Why you know? We can say the same thing about 50 Cent, though, right? Hell, we yep. can say the same thing about N.W.A. We can say no. The same we can definitely say the same thing about Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent, but Fifty, 50, 50, 50 had like two record contracts before he even got to Dre, and had nobody heard of him. He was signed with exactly. Columbus and all these other people. Ain't nobody heard of him. It was and not until he got with Eminem and Dre is when he became Fifty. Yeah, but M was the one well, that found him. He, he was always Fifty until the, until Dre and them did that song. So they did in the club. That that was what. Where, where it's the same issue, so I'm saying you can't use that as a valid point to discredit the man. 
That's what I'm saying. I'm not disagreeing with you. Know, I'm not disagreeing with you. If you want to bring that one up, I can, find, I can find you 17. I can, I can find you 17 more examples where the same thing exists. You know what I'm saying? Had Wu Tang no, never had the RZA, you, 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 shit, you what would that? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, example, I, there wouldn't be no Wu Tang. You cannot find example of a, of an artist who's been propelled to the top ten by the iconicness of one person, except for Snoop Dogg. And they were all drained, by the, by the way. Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, Eminem. They're all people who've been propelled to hip-hop icon status all by association with Dr. Dre. Oh, that's all I'm saying. Because, because he produced them, he brought out the best of them as a producer. As a producer, he brought out the best of them and, and helped them. Dr. Dre's impeccable credentials helped give you a, a, a gateway to want to listen to this person and give them a fairer shake, just the same way with Kendrick Lamar. If, if, I'm not saying they wouldn't have had success. I'm just saying it helps when Dr. Dre, if Dr. Dre come out and say, yo, this my new artist, you're going to be like, well, damn, let me, listen, let me check this shit out. Matter of fact, Dr. Dre so iconic, he's been making an album for 20 years that he never put out, and niggas are still sitting around waiting on that shit to come up. Yo, G, let me ask you this. Yo, G, let me ask you this. Will Rock, will, will Rock can be a top ten rapper all time without Eric B? Yeah, because all Eric B did was make the beat. He would have. Wow, he, he it's, it's those beats that he made. No. Okay. It's those beats that he made <laughs> that brought out Rock Kim's rhyme. Remember the beat. And, and, and a lot of people that's say that's all they made. All Dre did was make beat. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, 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 I got, I got this one. I got this one. Cause G, cause G, G likes the first. G likes. The, hold on. G likes the first album, and he don't credit Rakim's. He he gave him his first two albums. His third, fourth, fifth album. G's like, uh, he's like they pretty whack. So outside of him on the Juice soundtrack, right? That was Eric B. Your argument when he with Eric B. But what I'm saying is. When if you look at the back of Paid and Fool's album cover, there's Flavor Flay, Cool G Rap. So eventually, Rakim would have ran into Large Professor and Q-Tip and all of them. He would have got some beats and been okay. But, but, but the I, difference I, was back then. The difference was back then, though. It was more about the DJ than the rapper, really. It was more about the yeah. the, the DJ that you had, which prepared you. Like Hold that's on. why that's why you got cats like DJ Premier, Air B, you know Air B. Like, it was about the DJ that you had. You know, even Jazzy for Jeff. KLRS, it was like Scott LaRock. Yeah. Like, it Jazzy was Jeff. DJ. Yeah. Right. Hey, hold up, y'all. It hold was up. Jazzy Jeff. It hold was up. those DJ back then. Hey, Sluggo asked in the chat room, if Eminem was a brother, would he be just another fast rapper? My answer is, I, I would put, I would say he was the greatest rapper of all time if he was a brother. I... I if he was a but brother you, and rapped about killing his mama and all that other shit that he was talking about, yeah. <laughs> but you're not going to find that in a hip hop <laughs> set. But no, he was, no he was more just, he was, it wasn't just about Eminem being a fast rapper, though. Eminem, the, the, the thing, a thing about what, one of the things that make a, a, a rapper great is, 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 is not only their content, it's, it's like bars, like your, the cleverness of your bars. Right. Eminem Eminem makes word rhymes together that not supposed to rhyme. Like he'll make circle rhyme with what? But somehow, right. some way, he'll make those two words rhyme together, and you'd be like, "Well, how the fuck did he do that?" Like, you know right. Right. Eminem, so you gotta give him credit so with, with credit, dude. And, and, and and Eminem, right now, so he kept it true to himself. He kept it true to himself. And, he wasn't and, coming right. out there on no gangster shit. Like he was talking about shit that he was going through. With his mom being, you know, strung out on pills and all of that shit, him stealing drugs from her, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he kept it real to himself, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I fucked with that right there. He, like, he literally right. came out on his first album talking about how he used to get bullied in school when he was a kid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Peed on and all of that shit. Like, that's real shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I mean, I, I, it, it, yeah. I mean, you change, you change, you change, you change that shade of color, man. And, and I think people will probably be considering. Yeah, I mean, same circumstances. They be putting them. They be putting them number one all the time. Probably. You know what's the and crazy really, thing about this circle? Now I said it. Now I said it best though. Now I said it best about Eminem when he was talking. When he talked about how Eminem uh, murdered Jay Z on his own album on that Renegade yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. You know the joint with, with Jay Z and, and Eminem on Renegade. Like he he did he did murder Jay Z on that joint. You know what's crazy? 
but hey, but but a lot of people give him people give him credit for murdering Jay Z.